Inspect Pages and Data is a new feature brought in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central in the April release. This is also known as Page Inspection and will be familiar to previous users of Dynamics Nav who used about this page feature. We can see it in action here. If we click the cog, we now have an inspect option. Now this is dependent on your permissions, which I'll show later in the video. If I click inspect, this then loads the page inspection pane on the right hand side that tells me the page I'm interacting with and the table that's serving me the data. So here is the customer table, table 18 and particularly usefully for things like reporting using jet reports i can see for each field its name the field number the data type and if it's a primary key i can also see all the fields on the table not just the fields that are available on the card page or relevant list page so this will be a really useful tool to inspect the actual data as I scroll down for the record I'm on, I see the information for this customer. If I were to change record, this then updates and I see the data for the second record. I also have the option to view any page extensions that may be present, none in this case at the moment, and any page filters. And if I wish to, I could click view table and see all the records on this table. If I go further and go on actual customer record, we see the list update as I move through the system, now showing me on the posted sales invoices list page, which is pulling information from the sales invoice header table. And again, I have a full list of the fields and the information stored within them for the currently selected record. Going to one particular posted sales invoice. So after a small pause each time, the page inspection tool updates and I see the new page that I've navigated to. In this case, the document for posted sales invoice and that it's still pulling data from the same table, the sales invoice header. However, if I then select the list part within that, and that things update, it now updates to show that I'm pulling data from a different part of the page, the list part, so the lines, and it's pulling data from the sales invoice line table, which might be more important for me from a reporting point of view, especially if I'm starting to pair a jet report, for example. I can now see all the information stored on the sales invoice line table, including, for example, the two primary keys and all the related information. If I close this, So in the universal app, which is where I currently am working, I have the option inspect due to my permission sets. I can also access this from the help and support menu. And I've got inspect pages and data. Both will get me to the same place. They'll open up a pane on the right hand side to allow me to inspect the page and the data. Now for this to work, I have to be granted a specific permission set, which I will now show. So if I close this and go to permission sets, and the new one from the April release is troubleshoot tools.
This contains one specific permission, the execute permission on the tool zoom object to make this functionality work. You'll find that some user groups do include this now as part of the updates in the April release. And there's a specific user group called D365 Troubleshoot, which includes the local permission set and troubleshoot tools. If a user's not got this, they won't be able to do what I just showed. So for example, here, Bob is logged in into the web client in the same system. And if I attempt to use the same functionality, I don't, firstly, I don't get inspect as an option here. You don't get that in the web browser at all. But if I try and access to the same other route through help and support and down to inspect pages and data, the top part works for me. I know what page I'm working with, where the data is coming from in terms of what table, but I don't get any of the detailed information because I don't have that specific permission set.